Hello and welcome to this lecture on deleting records in a database. Often when you work with databases, you will be required to delete or remove records from a database table. The way to do this is to use the SQL or T-SQL delete command to remove the unwanted records from the database table. So let's head over to SQL Server Management Studio and make a connection to our SQL Server to delete a record from a table. The process is the same regardless whether you are deleting a single record or a thousand records. I have made a connection to the SQL Server via the SQL Server Management Studio, which is this tool you're looking at. We are going to use the AdventureWorks 2014 database and we'll be using the Human Resources Schema and the Department Table. So let's open up the new query window, which is this tab here. So this is where we would write the query. So select the correct database. We click on the drop down and select AdventureWorks 2014. So that's the database. We will write the query again. Let's take a look at the current data in the table before we make the deletion. It's always a good idea to see what the record looks like within the table before and after the deletion. So we'll do a select star, star means everything, all the columns from, the from is where you specify the schema and the table. So schema first, which is human resources, and then the table, department, and then your semicolon or semicolon. So let's execute. So this is what the table looks like at the moment. It has got 17 rows or records. So we are going to remove this rec record here, this number 17 record, where it's got grapes, all that record, we will remove the records completely using T-SQL. To write the query, you can also get some guide from SQL Server via the SQL Server Management Studio. It gives you a guide of how you should write your query. So let's do that. So we'll right click on the table here and go script table as and select delete. Okay. And then new query and it will give you a structure. So this is what it expects you to do within your query. First, you select the database using the use keyword. The database is AdventureWorks already selected there. And then the go command just to signal you to progress. The main query here is on line four and five. You have to specify the keyword delete. Then you need to specify from where you want the deletion to occur, the human resources schema, and then the table is department. The where is very important. The where you have to apply a condition that will match the where clause. If not, your entire records will be deleted from that department. So the where clause is very important. It acts as a filter to protect other records from being deleted. So you must specify a condition that the where clause will look for to perform the delete. So let's do that. Okay, so let's look for some conditions to apply the filter. So this is the table as it is. So this is the record we want to remove this entire line. So we can use any of the columns to act as the filter. So I'm going to use the name column here. So I'm going to go back to my query 
and say where, so I get rid of this now. I say where name is equals to grapes. So this is the criteria that the deletion will look for. So let's pop back here. So the name here is grape. So this is a record I want to remove this entire row. So it will look for this criteria here. So if it matches that, it will wipe out the entire row. So this is my query now. Delete from this schema, this table, where the name equals that. We don't necessarily need the square bracket, but we can leave that on. So let's execute that and go execute. It says one row affected. So it has removed the records. To double check, we do a select. So do a select from human resources and then department table. So hopefully this should only show 16 records. Go execute. You see it's showing only 16. So if we scroll down, it has removed the last record that had grapes in it. So this is how you would perform a delete of records. So it doesn't matter if you're deleting one record or a thousand, the process is the same. You specify the delete keyword, you specify the from, the schema, the table, and then the conditions that must be met for the deletion to occur. The where clause is so important to avoid other records being deleted. In this lecture, we deleted a record from a database using the delete command in combination with the where clause. So the process of deletion is the same, whether you're deleting one record or you're deleting a thousand records. You must use the delete command and you must specify a filter using the where clause. Thank you for your time. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to help out. Thanks and bye for now.